the Harborview Complex here in Baltimore, Maryland, getting ready for the U.S. Olympic Beach Volleyball Trials. Hi again, everybody. A couple of beach boys with you, Paul Sunderland and Chris Marlowe. Karch Karai, Kent Steffes, the team of the 90s, the former kings of the beach, they are the big favorites in this one. However, Adam Johnson, Randy Stokos, the kind of team that could give Karch and Kent trouble. Well, they can because of their ability to jump serve, and that with the injury to Randy Stokos, that's exactly what they need to do if they have any hope of winning. They're like a boxer who's got a very bad cut. He knows he can't go the distance, so he's got to go for the knockout punch, and every time they go back to the service line, they've got to rack up ace after ace. I think that's their only chance. Karch Karai, most people, most experts consider him the greatest player in the history of Pro Beach Volleyball. He is the only man to win over $2 million in prize money. His partner, Kent Steffes. Steffes, 82 open wins, 70 of them with Karch Karai. Got his first victory back in 1989. So Karai and Steffes, veterans, the team of the 90s, and uh, a definite favorite in this one. On the other side of the court, Adam Johnson. He has won $1 million in his career. He was the 1995 King of the Beach, explosive, jump serve, dynamic player. And Randy Stokos, part of the winningest team of all time, along with Sinjin Smith. They won 115 tournaments together. But the big question on Big Randy, how is the ankle? Well, that's going to remain a question. But he warmed up pretty well. Clearly will not have the lift. When I spoke to him earlier today, he said it was about 65% went to the hospital after the match yesterday, received treatment. They put an ice cast on it until 10 o'clock last night. He slept pretty comfortably, got up this morning, went back to a local hospital, ice whirlpool, electronic stim. He's doing everything he can to get out there and play, but clearly not 100%. I talked to Karai and Stevis last night. They said they would open serving on Randy, not particularly because of the sprained ankle, but because they thought he looked tired in his previous match. Karai, Steffes, Road, Nichols, and Schlegel, 15-7. Akatubi and Lewis are wacky. Then lost to Don Whitmarsh and then pounded Brasigno and Williams. No close games on that list. See what happens if we get into a nail biter. We saw Kent doing a little manicure earlier. He didn't look altogether that nervous. With these Johnson and Stoklos, they got by Canyon Seaman and Lee Legrand to open up their row, their only loss, of course, to Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. So here we go, one game to 15. Winner goes to the Olympics. Kent Steffes will serve first. Steffes with the blue hat, sunglasses. A relative youngster at 27 years yes, old. He'll be 28 on June service. 23rd. Our final of the day. Here we Wind is gusting. Stokos and Johnson opening on the good side. I think a good omen for them. Here we go. And the first jump serve traveling long. See the breeze up top. Stokos and Johnson have the wind into their faces. Relatively comfortable conditions, remember. This tournament has been spread out over a number of days, not multiple matches in the same day, so the heat at 85, humidity at 85 percent as well, will not be a factor. In an earlier match this year, Adam Johnson playing with his partner, uh, Loyola, Jose Loyola, served 11 aces against Karch Karai and Kent Steffes, so that's the kind of explosion for Karai, and Karai is pumped. Would be pumped whether Randy were healthy or not, but took a little off this jump serve and trying to make Stoklos move around to pass. And Good set, nobody up, Come and on. he hits it right to Karch. Chance and for a John, point, John, John. And, and Johnson. Put away. And Johnson doing the blocking oh, right away. Hitting, really, one of the easiest things to do if you've got a sprained ankle. You receive serve, go ahead, go up there and poke it around and try to get into a rhythm and stay warm. The difficult things are the, you know, real big changes of motion. Perfect set, so close, half hitting off Steffes. Now we should tell you quite honestly that Randy Stokos and Adam Johnson, they have a very business-like relationship. It's not a, one of affable warmth. Well, they got together in 1994 and a lot of people said, hey, look, this is gonna be the team that's gonna really challenge Kirai and Steffes. Gonna beat them, gonna split the tour with them as opposed to letting Kirai and Steffes dominate. They did not. They didn't win the kind of tournaments and the sorts of numbers that they wanted. They played all through 94, started 95, and then split up about eight weeks into 
to 95. And it was not a friendly split. That was probably the first time ever Randy Stoklos had been dumped. Stoklos gets the side out. Adam Johnson making the transition to the right side. And he will serve. A little earlier today, uh, Paul talking to Johnson about Stokos. He said he hadn't even heard oh. from him in regards to the ankle. How was he? They had not communicated. Talked to Stokos this morning when we were discussing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Talk about that. They know that's the key. But Stokos this morning when I was asking him about his treatment and whatnot, had not even spoken with AJ and asked to AJ, who just rips off this incredible ace. Nobody's getting that one. Karch out early, very quick, can't make the play. I asked AJ right before they were coming to the court, and AJ, I said, are you going to take more court? What are you going to do to change? He said, we really haven't talked about it. So partners, yes, but close, not necessarily. Point scoring opportunity to tie it up at two. Still close. Got it. Stokos and Johnson, two. Karai Steffes, two. All oh, the pressure has to be on Karai Steffes. The pressure is off for Randy. He's got the ankle. The, the pressure's off. No one's expecting them to win. Uh, suffered a very bad injury yesterday, of course, warming up. If you're not familiar with that, sprained his ankle, landed on a ball during warm-ups. Bounced off one of the sideline banners, rolled yep. underneath him, and he snapped his ankle, but good, or but bad, if you ask him. But no pressure, because nobody expects him to win. Adam Johnson at 2-2. Oh, oh, oh. And out. Adam Johnson with six kinds of jump serves. He's got a screwball, a curveball, a flat serve, a hard one down the line and the middle. And cross court. So now Karch Karai will put the ball in play. Moving still close around. Serving him, but moving him around. Stokos tapping. He's got a whack at Johnson will, and he's rejected. AJ trying to compensate for Stokey a little bit, hitting that ball on too, but Karch and Kent knew it was coming. First side change, Karch Karai Kent Stevis by one over Johnson and Stoklos. Men's qualification match here in Baltimore at the U.S. Olympic Beach Volleyball Trials. Adam Johnson, Randy Stoklos in red against Karch Karai and Kent Stevis in black. Fabulous up by Stevis. He lost his hat, but the ball's going out of bounds and he gets another point. Didn't lose his head with it. Steph is getting an excellent jump on the cut shot. This ball is, because of the tough pass, is set five or six feet back. AJ cuts the ball off nicely, but Steph is all over it. And that's the strength and quickness of Kent Steffes. Diligent trainer, lifts weights day after day. And he and Kirai have this little off-season game going. They each try to one-up themselves during the off-season. Karch got a flexibility and, and, a, and a movement coach in Adrian Crook. And so Steffes goes, well, i got to get him too. And now they both uh, work with Adrian and make moves to play defensively. And it's really helped them both. Johnson trying to slow down the action. He is one of the more deliberate players in the world of Pro Beach Volleyball, and he calls timeout. So timeout on this end, a reminder. You don't need to be reminded, do you? NBA Showtime gets the evening started. Game three of the NBA Finals. Michael Jordan, Sean Kemp, and the rest of the gang. Chicago up 2-0. Once again, game three starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on NBC. Baltimore, Maryland, offshore at the Harbor View Complex. We come back to Baltimore Beach, Paul. It has a beautiful ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds good. We've enjoyed ourselves here. There's been tremendous competition, so much drama on the women's side. And let's give some credit where credit is due. A very well-run tournament, yep. nice stadium, stands are packed. Good depth. I like the, the height of the stadium. You're looking down on the arena like gladiators of yesteryear. It's, it's intimate. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, <laughs> for you anyway, it is. <laughs> All right. Ken Steffes and Karch Karai are leading 62. They're on the good side, so they have made a move. We were tied at two. H.A. and Stokos look good, but Karch and Kent able to run off four in a row. Johnson's off the net. Karch is there. Good cover. A.J. spinning. And Steffes, who has been perfect, wax another one down. Here, Kirai, after he sets the ball with the cut call. That's the only help that Steffes wants or needs, quite frankly. Watch Karch look. You'd see the pink hat turn. He sees that AJ's covered line, gives that information to his partner, and cuts the ball off. Steffes with seven kills in eight attempts. Karai's a perfect two for two. Seven to two, Karai Steffes up. 
And the miss serve. Steffes and Karai, of course, together over the last several years. The only time they haven't played together when one or the other was injured. It was Karch with the costly kidney a few years ago. And last year, Steffes missed 12 tournaments with the injured shoulder where he had surgery. Karai played several tournaments with Scott Akatubi and thought a lot about playing with him into this year. It was a difficult decision at the beginning of the year. Do I take Akatubi, who I won eight tournaments with last year, or do I go back to Steffes? I had an interesting conversation with Kent Seves. You heard it also. He said, when I'm a when I'm healthy, I'm a better player than Scott Akatubi. So Cart should have picked me. And he did. So close. Oh, off his head. Steffes with the beam ball. And it's eight to two. Stoklos going after it that time, feeling loose again on the bad wheel, not getting the altitude, but Steffes up and over, and then straight down onto Stokey. Karai and Steffes out fast, they lead by six. Chris Marlow and Paul Sunderland back at the U.S. Olympic Beach Volleyball Trials. Karai and Steff is jumping on Stoklos and Johnson, leading 8-2. We were tied at two, but Karch and Kent getting six straight points. However, Johnson and Stoklos in the red trunks, now back on the good side, wind in their face. Got to score all five, I think. Make it the 8-7 side change. Absolutely. Here comes Johnson. And Johnson right over the top of Steffes. Steffes saying he netted. And the ref saying, no, you netted, pal. And so Johnson and Stoklos will have it. A rare serve to Adam Johnson. How many has he gotten throughout the course of this match? That's his fourth. Stoklos serving down six. Working on Steffes. And off Stoklos. They haven't challenged Karch at all on serve receive. Ken Steffes is 27 years old. He's been on the tour since he was 19. When did he start thinking about the Olympics? Listen. I remember especially watching the 76 Olympics, watching Bruce Jenner win the gold medal. Uh, I remember the, the call is like, you know, he has the gold medal, but he's going for the, the world record. And, and he won, he carried the flag around, and so the next thing I want to do, I want to do the Catholic. My dad built a long jump pit in the backyard. He built a little hurdle that I got to jump over. I, was, I must have been eight years old at the time. Would have made a pretty good decathlete, I think. Put a little squeeze on Dan and Dave. Johnson serving. Side out. Karai Steffes. And the side out to Karai and Steffes. Fourth service error for Adam Johnson. Now Karai. 8-2, his team leads. One. And Come on, on the line, Karch is there. No, could not get it up. Take service back to Stoklos, 2-8. And now Randy Stoklos, who hired a physical trainer this year. His name is T.R. Goodman, and he works out at Gold's Gym in Venice, California. Of course, the famous bodybuilding gym that so many of the great bodybuilding stars hang out at, or Arnold Schwarzenegger and all the big guys. Come on! And has really showed in Randy's improved play this year. He's really cut, really buff, and very physical. And he's very healthy. And of course, Randy's been playing for a long, Seven long time. And just has completely rededicated himself with the hopes of making it into the Olympic Games. And you see the bandage on his right foot. And that's what may be standing in the way right now. And of course, add to that Kirai and Steffes. Double contact. Call the spin doctor. 9 2 now. Two spots on the men's USA Olympic team for beach volleyball have been filled already. The great Sinjin Smith, the legendary man, 139 open wins, and his partner Carl Henkel, Mike Dodd, and Mike Whitmarsh. And right now it looks like Karai and Steffes will join that twosome. But what about Stoklos and Johnson, arguably the third best team on the beach? And some people would say there are other teams that certainly could beat Hinkle and Smith and aren't going to get a chance to advance because that spot is already, for, uh, already filled. Another point on the board. You continue to see Randy Stoklos giving it the best effort he possibly can. A heavy bandaged right ankle. Just cannot make the play. Adam Johnson, of course, had his own list of Olympic dreams and go, those going apparently by the board because of the injury to his teammate. For volleyball fans not familiar with the selection process, 
the FIVB International Tour selected the top American team. That was from play last year. Sinjin Smith and Carl Hinkle playing on the International Tour earned their way on as the top American team. And so they will go into the Olympics. But none of the AVP players compete on the FIVB That's Tour. That's true, but they, that did the, have, that they did the have the opportunity, the opportunity to do that. They had the opportunity. But chose for a 50% cut in prize money, and of course they were arguing all along that they thought it would be should be an open trial to begin with. So Johnson compromised the mother of necessity. Carts. in this uh, situation. 12-2. Carts. I guess that's why you have blocking these days. <laughs> <laughs> Cart's not going to be distracted by the ills that may have befallen Randy Stoklos. Crushing. And knows that he's only three points away from going to his third Olympic Games and playing, of course, for his third goal. Karai told me last night that the most nerve-wracking experience he had in volleyball, the 1988 Olympics, put a lot of pressure on himself to go out there and lead the team to its second gold medal. Particularly sweet beating the Russians. Karch coming fast. Stefanis scoops it over. Nice set. And Stoke it. Oh, Karch digging lips. Karch. And he puts it away. Karch Karai. That's why he won two Olympic gold medals. Defense. Wow. Hustle play here. A little bit of confusion. AJ thought about hitting it on, too. Steffes is confused. Karch is not. I'll take your best shot. Adjusts the glasses, and then just slices you off for the score. Karch Karai, the big name player, and it's 13 to two. 13 to two is our score. Johnson and Stokos getting bombed here. Karch Karai and Ken Steffes doing the destruction. You know, you talk about the destruction that Karai and Steffes have done through the years when they've been completely healthy. 1992, won 13 in a row, and 16 of 19, 93, 18 of 25, 94, 17 of 21. And then, of course, Steffes was hit by the injury bug last year. So when they are healthy and uh, playing good volleyball, they have dominated the AVP Tour. Karch serving, looking for point number 14. Stokos and Johnson have sided out actually fairly well recently. And Johnson puts it away. Of course, we think Adam Johnson will return to his regular partner, Brazilian Jose Loyola. And Stoklos, ironically, plays with his former, of course, Brazilian partner, not AJ's, but Jose Loyola's, Anginho. So each of them playing with Brazilians. And this is the first tournament they've played together since the very beginning of last year. Stephas Karai, get the ball back. Ken Stephas says he's lived by one philosophy. Mike Normand is club coach in high school told Stephas never lose because you're out of shape or not prepared and Stephas has lived by that he says you can lose to better teams better athletes that are better volleyball players but don't lose because of those two reasons Storm and Norman gave him that advice and here he goes Stephas for point number 14 oh, close. and now Stokey is pumped he got one well, still close knows that if this match is probably lost, but he's going to enjoy a moment in the last match of his Olympic trials experience. Have to be careful how much you celebrate when you're getting dusted 13 to 2, however. Well, still close 35 years of age now. Unlikely, very unlikely that he would be around, of course, for the next Olympics. Nice up, Johnson. And AJ puts it away. And the crowd goes crazy. Well, they want to see good volleyball. And the injury to Stoklos making that almost impossible. It's been all Kirai and Steffes early, but Johnson and Stoklos not going to go away. They know that it's uh, pretty much a done deal. So now they've loosened up, going to have some fun, and now they're playing well. Johnson serving 13-3. That ball flying long. So Karch Karai, once again, one indicator of his greatness. Karch has won with 10 different partners on tour. The all-time record, the great Ron Von Hagen. He won with 16 different partners. But that shows your versatility. Yes. 
stroke gloves. Says there's another one. Jim Mengus, uh, another beach great, also winning with 10 different partners. One thing to win with Sinjin Smith or Karch all the time, but to win with different partners, that signals greatness. Stokey ripping the ball down the line. Karch moving defensively. Now, Karch, of course, third now all time. You're talking about in wins. Yeah, correct. in wins. And you have to go back and think about Sinjin Smith is first, then Randy Stoklos, then Karch Kirai. Karch Kirai quickly moving up. Uh, Stoklos, uh, on Stoklos's number, 116, 122. Sto Smith with uh, 139. Ace for Stephanus. That is point number 14. And now the team of the 90s poised to get their Olympic berth. Ready position, but not ready for that. Right on the back line. You wonder how many Kirai would have had if he had been on the beach through all those years. To go to Atlanta, just missed. So Steffes misses. And Johnson will serve. Playing out the string here. When will it end for Kirai and Steffes? Karch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And Karch puts it away. We mentioned that Karch's father, the flag waver, Laz Karai, not going to come to the Olympic trials, but uh, Laz, or the, uh, or the Olympic Games, but uh, Laz, your son is playing well. You might have to check him out. He, he didn't say he wasn't going to watch on TV. Still close. Karch has it to go to the Olympics on Karai. Yes, they're going. A lot of pressure on Karai and Steffes. They came out and took care of business, but you have to think what's going through Randy Stoklos' mind. Both Karai and Steffes went right over to him. Wishing him well, sorry for his misfortune. And of course, Adam Johnson right in the middle of that because he's his teammate. No subs on the beach, but Karai and Steffes on their way to Atlanta. Kent for the first time as an Olympian, Karch for the third time. And of course, the ankle of Stoklos, a big factor at these Olympic trials. So three teams have qualified. Carl Henkel, Sinjin Smith, Mike Dodd, Mike Whitmarsh, and Pinky Hat and Steffes. Look at this, Karch Kirai, quintessential Kirai. Good ball control, and he's thinking right now, we've done it. We're on our way. That's what we came to do. Randy Rosenblum with the winners. Go, Randy. Well, thank you, Chris. Kent, absolutely perfection. 15-3, you were wonderful. We played a really tight game. We started off serving well. We started off blocking well. And we got we scored on all the point opportunities. And it really made it easy as we got the score going. This is your first, but for Karch, it's number three. Does it feel a little bit different? We'll see once we get to the Olympics. <laughs> I have no idea. Nobody knows what beach volleyball is going to be like at the Olympics. It's never happened before. You felt coming in, Karch and Kent, that the most pressure was right here in the U.S. Olympic trials. You're through the pressure, at least of the trials, and now on to the Olympics. Can you amplify on that? Well, uh, you're right. This is a very tough tournament, and thanks to uh, probably a corrupt qualification system, we don't have a great team like Adam and Randy going. They, they deserve to be there also, but unfortunately, we only have two of our top three teams at the Olympics. Hopefully, they'll do very well there. Well, Karch and Kent, best of luck in Atlanta. A dominating performance by truly the best team in the world. Chris? Well, Karch not quite happy with the selection of the American Olympic teams. What do you think, Paul Sunderland? Well, the, hand, the hand has been dealt. Of course, we know that Dodd, Whitmarsh, Kirai, Steffes come off the AVP Tour. They probably go into the first ever Beach Volleyball Olympics as the favorite. Big question. Will Sinjin Smith and Carl Hinkle off the FIVB Tour be competitive? On the women's side, McPeak and Reno are in, but they're split up. The chemistry, they're really a problem. Fontana Hanley, congratulations to them. And Gail Castro and Deb Richardson never won a tournament together. They fill out the women's Olympic team.